Dr. Peter Warnke, Chief of Neurosurgery at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, discusses new and experimental treatments for epilepsy located deep in the temporal lobe. Epilepsy, per se, is not like a tumor, a disease of the brain, but it's obviously some brain cells, or neurons as we call them, uh, can't be regulated and don't work normally. So they fire simultaneously and cause this epileptic seizure. So the real thing we are after, the real target, is to make these brain cells behave. By removing them, that's one way of doing it, but that has side effects, particularly side effects as to neuropsychology, cognitive functioning, memory, visual memory, etc. So we have, and so have others, uh, developed depth electrodes, which again, stereotactically, we implant into these areas and record for several days and find out where exactly the seizure comes from. And the idea is to then not just take this part of the brain out, but to hit it after knowing in three-dimensional space where the epilepsy is coming from, to hit this with, and there are numerous other groups working on this experimentally, but we've taken it, I think, a little bit further with either what's called a radio frequency probe. So through the same electrode, you can just deliver a temperature. You heat the tissue, which makes the neurons, the brain cells sign in. Some of them will actually die, but it's a very small area, very focused treatment. So far, I think this is still in the clinical trial stage, but uh, from the um, from the data from other groups as well, you are in the range of 60 to 70 percent of patients becoming seizure free, which is exactly in the range of classical epilepsy surgery. The point is, we leave a lot of brain intact still in there and avoid the side effects. Cyberknife. We know that that has a clear effect on the epilepsy. We know that a lot of patients, about 60 to 70, become seizure-free. It takes some time, whereas if you take the tissue out, the patient usually is seizure-free after that. But it is much less damaging, it's much more focused. These procedures are time-consuming, high-tech, but they are much, much safer, and they are for the patient, they are very nicely tolerable. A lot of these things now can be done under local anesthesia, for example. So there's a clear benefit for the patient. To find a neurosurgeon at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center in Boston, call 800-667-5356.